Uh, Jude. Yes. Talk to me about the Night of the Comet. Um, 1984, Night of the Comet. So Haley's Comet comes to Earth, and um, it hasn't been back. This particular comet hasn't been back since the dinosaurs virtually overnight were Ooh. extinct. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so Haley's Comet comes, and if you were exposed to it, um, it turns you into dust. If you were partially exposed to it, it turns you into a comet zombie. Uh, but if you were inside a steel enclosure, you were safe from it. So about, I don't know, like 20 people <laughs> in the entire survive. City. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is uh, based in uh, L.A., and... Um, Two teenagers are the ma- are the two main characters of this movie, and they're um, sisters, right? They're sisters, yeah. and their father is a green beret, so he taught them how to take care of themselves. Yeah, some nice character gun. development. There. Yes, yeah. I thought so too. Um, and uh, they're like a couple, a couple of uh, typical teenage gals in the eighties in nineteen eighty four, but they're also. Um, not typical in the way that they were raised and they were raised to basically their dad didn't know how to raise girls. So he raised them like he would a couple of boys in the eighties. So he taught them how to shoot guns and how to fight. And when they come in contact with these zombies, the zombies don't got a chance because <laughs> they're coming out on top. And also they're going to walk out in a fresh new uh, outfit. Absolutely. Yeah. The mall scene is by far the It's Kadish's thing. favorite too. It's fantastic. Yeah. Um, and Oh, uh, and, and a couple of, uh, a, group of scientists were uh, survivors also, but they were partially exposed. So they are on the hunt for survivors who were not exposed so that they can make a serum out of their blood. Yeah. The blood. The blood. Uh, it's all about to, the blood. In order to siphon it into out of them and into themselves so that they can survive the so comet. So tell me, what is it about this movie that you love so much and why did you pick it for this retro? You know, honestly, this is one of those things that I think about from my childhood and I remember when my older sister went to see this in the theater and I just idolized my sister. She's seven years older than me so she everything that she did was cooler than me and older than me and uh, I wanted to do everything that she did and I remember the day that she came home from the movies, from having seen this movie and she talked about it and I was like, that sounds like the coolest movie ever. <laughs> <laughs> and I couldn't wait to go see it. And once I was an adult and I finally saw it, I think I just was transported back to that 11-year-old girl who was idolizing her sister talking about this really cool 80s flick. These two badass chicks yeah, with their and hair I, I and feel their like Mac I, I still feel like that whenever I watch it. It's a ridiculous movie. I it could totally doesn't see that. make any kind of sense. But I, I love this genre of bad 80s movies. Yeah. And, and it's it, it was really light on the zombies. I was expecting like a full blown zombie movie, but mm-hmm. it's really not a. They were not the main character. This not. was a female led movie. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Most of the zombies were in dream sequences. Too, yeah. Right? Yeah. So. There's, especially the ones on the uh, on the actual poster for the movie, the the yeah. cop zombie. That's mm-hmm. just as a dream. It wasn't even real. Mm-hmm. The uh, there was like what two actual zombies in the film, and then a couple. Come one, here. And then, yeah, a couple <laughs> people that were becoming zombies up towards yeah. the end. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, this movie was very much about like a sister, a sisterhood type, like yeah. you know, let's build a relationship and you know yeah. help each other out. But... Let's figure out how to live post apocalyptic. Yeah, it was, it was. You know what's funny is um, I'm always kind of curious as to Jude's taste in movies, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, you know I don't like this movie, um, <laughs> and I've always wondered what her fascination with it was, and um, it, interesting fun factoid is that. When Joss Whedon was a kid, he loved this movie. And the idea of Valley Girls fighting monsters mm-hmm. was his inspiration for creating Buffy the Vampire Slayer, which is, which is another thing that Jude absolutely loves. So I'm I like, now it Buffy. makes sense. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Now yeah. this makes sense why she that's likes a, this movie. That's so a cool much. little threat. I, I read that on Wikipedia today. I was, yeah. Was <laughs> <laughs> this is the type of stuff that Kadish needs to write. <laughs> he needs yeah. to write little factoids. Do you guys know how much I love Buffy? I'm always talking yeah. about the, yeah. the, the Buffering the that's, Vampire I, Slayer I, podcast that I listen at to. At some point in time, you're going to make me watch that show. I can just that, talk. You've never seen that movie? <laughs> no. That, that, no. Ooh, are we going to do a series podcast? Can I get to make you watch a series? I don't know. Vader, did you also did you also read about the original title for the movie? I don't remember. I don't. So the original that. title for Night of the Comet was a title that I thought would would have been much better, and it was called uh, Teenage Comet Zombies. 
Yeah, I that would have been better. And, and the director <laughs> wanted to treat, well, treat the movie more seriously, so mm-hmm. he changed it to Night of the Comet. One of the characters, Samantha, when she is uh, DJing, she says, to all you teenage comet zombies. Yeah. yeah. That was a good line. That was like, yeah, a, yeah I felt yeah. like. The legal the drinking best, age is oh, now 10. And now that's 10. That's the best ID, part of the movie. Be <laughs> best part of the movie is when she takes her clothes off for no reason whatsoever. <laughs> oh, yeah, in the bathroom? <laughs> yeah. She, and it, and it turns out down, it's a dream. She just yeah. starts getting undressed. Like, I'm going, that is quintessential 80s yes. right there. Yes. Yes. Gratuitous. There must not be. Not nude scene, mm-hmm. but might as well be. Well, what listen, if we're gonna listen, if we're going to watch a movie where the couple of chicks running around for two hours, <laughs> one, one of them better have naked. her top off. And then you're supposed, <laughs> then you find out that she's supposed to be 16 and you're like, kind of feel a little dirty. Oh, <laughs> she was actually 18 up. when she filmed this. Oh, well, well, I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> Well, you know, the the funny part was when she was with that guy in, in the steel-lined uh, projection booth. Oh, my God. That was and, and, the older sister, and, Reggie. And she yeah. schools him in uh, Superman powers. Yes. And and she, she's no, like... No, silly. He can see through steel no, just like anything. Yeah. No, no, no. I she doesn't call him it. silly. She, she's she's like, uh, Superman nerd. can't see through steel, you nerd. Like like, yeah. like she didn't just out-nerd him. <laughs> I, I loved what a nerd Reggie was. Like she's, yeah. At, yeah. she's playing video games yes. and like somebody else had scored she, on, yeah. uh, on the game that it's she was like, place, ev- every single place was hers. Did we ever find out who that was? Yes, yes at the end. Oh, we did. The yeah, kid the picks very up end. The little sister. Really? Yeah, his it's license plate was DMK. Oh. Yeah, I did not. Which, if that. you haven't watched the movie since between eight, 1984 and now, we just spoiled, spoiled it. Alert. <laughs> uh, um, Jude, who's the main actress? In, in Catherine Mary Stewart. Yeah. So originally, Heather Landenkamp was going to be oh, playing the part of Nancy, and she, she, she yeah, she was the main character of oh, Nightmare on Elm Nancy. Street. She uh, also was the love interest in the Last Starfighter. Yes. Oh, which yes. was made that same year, and I was because I was. I was like, I know who this chick is. I should have picked that movie. And also in Weekend and Bernie's. <laughs> yeah, Weekend and Bernie's. I, mm-hmm. I definitely should have picked that movie instead. Last Starfighter is awesome. <laughs> oh, I love that movie. Me too. I can't believe I had never seen this movie because it came out in 1984 and uh-huh. we had this awesome drive-in. Where oh, I grew this is up perfect for a drive-in. Yeah. We all used to go and watch these really bad 80s movies. That, And I, I, I don't Somehow know if I watched it. this movie. I might have seen it already back then. I don't remember seeing 84. it. 84. But, but yeah, I was 14. Oh. So it was the perfect. Yeah. You know what's really interesting about so. this movie is that it was a huge hit. It, it, it was a movie that was made for like seven hundred thousand mm-hmm. dollars. Ended up grossing like over fourteen million in its yeah. box office. Wow. Right? Yeah. Yeah. And Holy cow. and the director actually he wanted they to... marketed it really well. I remember being a kid and being like, I want to see this. And my mom was like, You're not going to go see that. The, the director actually wanted to make a sequel, and he also wanted to turn it into a TV show and an animated series. Oh my gosh! And <laughs> he kept getting blocked by the producers because of rights issues. Uh, that they ran into and so like he he was just like well i want to do all this stuff with this concept but okay <laughs> <laughs> i was surprisingly pleased with this movie i really i never so i've glad. never even heard of it before but i mean when chicote from <laughs> star trek voyager showed up i was like holy cow yeah he's the main lead yeah he's the main like love male interest lead. male mm-hmm. lead and wearing I'm, a cowboy hat wearing a cowboy hat oh my god he was so santa claus suit he goes back home and he's fighting some like nine-year-old kid oh in that was great living room <laughs> Some nine year old kid is like a is a is a partial zombie, a comet zombie, and uh, Chicote goes back to his house to try and see if his parents are still alive. And that's, poor, that's poor Robert Beltran. <laughs> go, Chicote. He could be in any movie, and you just call him Chicote. Absolutely, yep, pretty much. That's him. And uh, didn't yeah, that, didn't had, that kind of like piss him off? And like for real. In what being Star called Trek Chakotay? World, because people call him Chakotay everywhere. Might have been. He he checked out of Voyager like early yeah. on. He's coming back though. I saw him in an interview the other day, a recent interview. He was he was all buddy buddy with his old crew. So maybe he's getting over it. Huh. All right. I don't know. That's all I know him from. Like I grew yeah. up with I grew up yeah. with him as Commander Chakotay. Sure. I had no idea he was in this movie. It was a complete surprise to me when he shows he's, up. He's very ra- young in it. At the radio station, yeah, he was very young. And I was like, I'm like, I know him. I I paused it and I went and got my wife. I'm like, babe, 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 babe. Who's that? <laughs> She's like, yeah, so? And I'm like, he's in a movie. <laughs> I'm so glad you liked this. Because I feel like I I'm did. the only person on the I mean, the it was ridiculous. And oh, it was yeah, over absolutely. the top 80s, but it was, it's, it's perfect. There, and I it, love the part where he, like, his character gets introduced and he's like, get into the light. And she's like, you get a lot of dates this way. And oh, like, yeah. And he calls her sweetheart. He's like, look, sweetheart, haven't you seen them things running <laughs> you know, around? Things, yeah. And the, and the sister's like, yeah. 
the ba- jump fire. Can, can we talk about <laughs> the banter in this movie? Is yeah, on oh, point. So good. <laughs> can, can, so we, good. can we talk about the uh, the terrible the mall gang? Oh, okay. The, oh my the, the gang that just roams the mall looking yes. for mm-hmm, for mm-hmm, the mm-hmm. only women left alive so they can Did torture and murder them. Did you see the monogrammed um, yes. bathrobe, <laughs> Willie? I was like, where did he get that? He was just a stock boy it's days like ago. Some creepy Did nerd he monogram guy. that himself? He had to have. He was like, I've been waiting for this my whole life. Yeah, they have a seamstress in the back of the mall. He made her do it, and then he shot her in the head. Yeah. That's my... Okay, that makes sense. Yeah, and they have an arm. Apparently, they have an yeah. armory in there, I, too. I, was just, yeah. I do have a question. So, where did everybody get all these Uzis? <laughs> Well, well, Daddy was the eighties. Daddy had it. Yeah, where did they get their Uzis from? I think they found it at their house. Maybe. I mean, I know in the eighties everybody had a couple of Uzis in the yeah. closet. But <laughs> well, yeah, you know. yeah. If you were cool, <laughs> you uh, you, you had an yeah, Uzi. Eighties was the decade of the Uzis. You would go Mac Ten. Yeah, the girls had Mac Tens because they couldn't find an Uzi. Because <laughs> it was so yeah. funny when they were talking about the guns and it. it didn't work right. Mm-hmm. It was like broken or something. And they were like, man, if this was an Uzi, it'd be fine. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. She was like, daddy would have gotten us Uzi. Yeah. And we just got these lame Mac 10s. The, they're like, the car doesn't seem to care. <laughs> After they like shot it up. Yeah. <laughs> they were just like shooting up a car for fun. For no they were reason. like, ah, it's the apocalypse. What else are we going to do? Yeah. It's, it's what I would have We got to wait for Hector to come practice. back <laughs> from uh, San Diego. So let's just go shoot up some cars. Vader, what did you think about this movie? Um, It was all right. It, it, did, I mean, it, did it bring you back like, to like, the days? Like, um, I, I like the big hair. Yeah, mm-hmm. and the shoulder pads. Mm-hmm. Shoulder pads. Yeah. The outfits were great. Oh my god. Yeah, it, 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 it reminded me of uh, nineteen eighty four, just like you were saying, man. Yeah, yeah. That, that that scene where that they're, my, they're uh, trying on all the clothes to the Cindy Lauper's girls just want to have yeah. fun song. Oh, yes. which was not but, actually Cindy Lauper singing because I yeah, bet it was they a couldn't different get the right. Yeah, it was a way different <laughs> version. If if I pulled out my freshman year of high school um, annual, every single girl in that in the picture. Would look exactly like the two girls in the movie. They wish. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm not joking. Same haircut for every single one. Yeah, of them. it was great. No, yeah. no sideways ponytail though. No, <laughs> it's no. like Napoleon died. It, 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 it was a. It took me back in a lot of ways. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, for being made in 1984, I thought it, you could tell it was made on the cheap. I think. Oh yeah. You know, and that was fine. Limited sets, but. but thing is this movie came out a week after nightmare on elm street which was like a huge phenomenon yeah so it kind of got lost in the shuffle sure. i think but it, it's got its own little charm yeah it does it. definitely has some 80s charm to I, it. I can don't pretend like you like it now just because your friends do <laughs> <laughs> yeah didn't you start I, I, out by saying you yeah, hated he was like, I, I, I don't like don't this like movie it. and he was like oh alex and vader it's liked got, it it's got its um, charm it's but charming I, I can see why it has gotten that cult status for a movie has it? Yeah. yeah. I don't think it has. I, I think, think I'm the only one who likes it. I've no, never heard of this movie you're before. Not. All right. Uh, <laughs> any final thoughts on Night of the Comet? Good no? movie. It was We're all right. Good. I feel like any movie named Night of the, I don't care what's after that, I'm going to watch it. Okay, yeah. Cool. Night of the Comet. Night Done. of the Living Dead. Night of the Living Dead. <laughs> Night of the Demon. That movie's also awful. <laughs> <laughs> and I love it. Are you going to make us watch it? Probably Someday. at some Eventually. point <laughs> when we do a themed podcast about demon movies. Yeah. Yeah. Come August. You guys are watching every terrible movie. <laughs> I'm vetoing that right now. 